Hi and welcome to another video. In today's video, I want to show you how I used ChatGPT, the OpenAI uh, chatbot, to write an article for me. And this was an article that I just published on LinkedIn. And because I always play around with this stuff, uh, you know, you will be pretty uh, surprised as well. So as you can see here, uh, this is the ChatGPT interface, and you can see. So I told ChatGPT here that I want to write a blog article about confidence of radiologists when they are reporting musculoskeletal MRI. And then I asked it to confirm that the artificial intelligence is actually understanding what I wanted to do. And then it confirms, it understands. So I want to write an article. So this can be, yeah. So it just kind of gives a little bit of a summary. And then it's asking me, is there anything specific you would like me to help you with? And then I told him that the text should include the following topics. Low confidence is not a lack of knowledge. The real problem is how to apply knowledge that radiologists already have on a particular MRI study. Let me just zoom in a little bit here. Then it understands. So I always ask, do you understand? And it confirms. You would like to, it just basically uh, repeats, you would like to the article to discuss how low confidence in the reporting is not necessarily due to a lack of knowledge, but rather how to effectively apply knowledge that radiologists already have on a particular MRI study. Mm -hmm. So that is correct. And also please include the calibration effect. The calibration effect leads to low confidence because radiologists in training get different input from different senior radiologists, and that can mess up the internal calibration of a radiologist when interpreting MSK MRI. Do you understand? So it confirms again what the calibration effect is, so it learns what it actually is. And then I tell OpenAI or the ChatGPT that the solution to increase confidence is actually to get into feedback loops through case discussions with experts to really narrow down this calibration, getting your buttons turned in the right direction to be consistent in your own reporting as one way of a solution. And you know it confirms again. So it knows, OK, that's great. Um, by discussing cases with experts, radiologists can receive feedback and guidance that can help to narrow down the calibration and become more consistent in their reporting, which makes total sense. So then. I wanted it also to describe the virtual MSK fellowship program. And as you know, that's uh, my my uh, personalized online coaching program that I'm offering uh, for radiologists that want to increase their confidence. So I wanted the article also to cover that part, uh, that this is one of the solutions for them to increase their confidence. And I just explained to OpenAI here what the virtual fellowship is. So it's an online coaching program that I have developed, you know, specifically designed to increase confidence in musculoskeletal MRI for radiologists. And it's a program with a mix of video lectures, test cases, community portal, and live sessions where we can discuss cases provided by the participants. So I'm going to ask OpenAI again, do you actually understand what the virtual fellowship program is? And so it confirms, yes, I understand. I would, You would also like to describe the virtual MSK fellowship program as a way to increase confidence levels in reporting MSK MRI. This is an online coaching program that you have developed specifically for radiologists, which includes a mix of video lectures, test cases, a community portal, and live sessions, etc. But participants can discuss cases. The program is designed to help radiologists build their knowledge and skills in MSK interpretation and increase their confidence levels in reporting. Totally right. So I told it, great. At the end of the article, I want to have a call to action where interested readers can click on a homepage link and schedule a call with me to apply for the program. And I provided it with the link. Do you understand? OK. So it understand. It provided the link here. OK, it's great. So then I asked it to, to write an outline for the article now. So not the full text yet, just a little outline. And so this is what it looks like. So uh, basically, oh no, I think I, I wrote it wrong here. I wrote online. So it was completely confused. So I had to actually stop generating this answer. So, and you can see, I wanted to write outline. So I just wanted to see what the outline looks like. So this is the outline for the article that later will follow. And so there is an introduction, you know, importance of MSK MRI reporting, some challenges and low confidence can impact the diagnosis. These are the bullet points. Then the next uh, paragraph will be about low confidence is not a lack of knowledge and you know what that means. Then a paragraph about the calibration effect, you know, what it is, you know, what, how it leads to actually uh, mistakes and lower confidence levels in reporting MSK MRI. And then we talk about the different solutions to increase confidence. At the end, there is a call to action where we will have a link to the uh, scheduling homepage to schedule a call with me if you are really interested in this. And then the conclusion to actually recap and basically, yeah, just a little bit like a summary of the article. And then I just told OpenAI, OK, please write the article. And this is now totally amazing. Um, this might not be the one-to-one -one article because I was trying to regenerate different responses to see which text 
uh, is best. And I had some network issues, but I think this is the full article. Uh, maybe not the one that I have now linked in, but this is how it responds here. So you can see it's actually providing me with the full article. Paragraphs, nice sentences, you know, subheadings, solutions to increase, so call to action with the link, conclusion, everything. And this is just the article then, you know, the text that I just copied like this. So I just copied, so co control C and I pasted it on LinkedIn. Now let me show you how this looks on LinkedIn. Um, I think that's, I hope I can actually just drop it in here. So this is now the article uh, here that I posted on LinkedIn. So we can see here, this uh, is the article. Can I open this in an incognito? Oh, that would not work with the screen recording. So this is what I posted. So then this is the article. And you can see I added some images. That's what I did. That's uh, not something that uh, OpenAI has done for me. Maybe I should have asked it to provide me some nice images. Um, so, but then here, how the title, this is just provided by uh, LinkedIn itself. And you can see the, the article here then just comes, I just made some bold subheadings, did some hashtags, added a couple of images here, tech, and at, ultimately I just switched around the call to action after the conclusion so that the link is actually the last thing here for people to actually go and uh, write. And also this, you know, I. I wrote that this article was 100% by GPTI, just to, to be open about this. So it's totally crazy that we can do stuff like that. So I love it. I also sent this out to my newsletter via email, this article. I think it's really great how we can use artificial intelligence. And it also is a little bit scary in a way. You know, there are certainly, I don't want to be a scaremonger or anything like that. But if you think about the power of this and it's just a general AI, you know, reports at some point, will be written by AI. So there are so many opportunities and uh, potential applications. It will take a long time until this goes into clinical routine and uh, actually impact the uh, radiology workplace in a way that you should be scared about your job. But you know we need to know what's going on. And this is just a beautiful example of uh, how we can amplify and make use of AI in a, in a very good way. Otherwise, it would have taken me a long time to write the article and you know, read over and just make corrections and just come up with everything. And this was just a, a process of a couple of minutes, really. Yeah, so thank you very much. I, I thought it's interesting to share with you guys. Um, and go read the article. I will post the link in the comments down below. Have a read. It's very interesting. And then, uh, yeah, if you're interested in learning, actually, how to increase your confidence yourself, then that would be certainly the way to go with the fellowship program. You can just schedule your link, uh, your, your call with me here, and then we see what's happening. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.